This is a continuation of my Akashic Records reading that I had the other day. If you watched that video, you may have caught on that I was feeling an extreme high. And because of some of the information that I received and I spent all day cruising around on my e-bike, sitting by the ocean in the sun, just doing a bunch of reflecting and I was able to connect the dots on some things and I feel as if today at times was kind of the opposite of yesterday. You know, I don't know, I haven't processed everything yet, so I'm not gonna share it because I don't know what side of the fence it's gonna fall on. This was a two and a half hour reading and there was some things I was told that I'm, I'm unfortunately not gonna be able to share, but to keep this quick and short, I'm just gonna share with you some of the things that I learned that if you've been following my channel for a while, you may find interesting if you know about the Akashic Records. So you may have heard me talk once or twice about having a memory come back to me arguing with my guide saying that I didn't think this life path was a good idea and how they told me, don't worry, don't worry, just open up your heart and be love. Well, this Akashic Records reader was talking about how some memories are implants, false memories, and some are real memories. And so I was like, okay, can you tell me if that memory I had of me arguing with my guides before I came down here was a real memory that came back to me or an implant? Because I was actually praying that she was going to tell me. She would be like, yo, it was an implant. And you were like gung-ho to come down here. And I would have been like, whew, all right, all right. But uh, no, that's not exactly it. It was a real memory. Um, you know, I wasn't sure if I was going to share this, but I was directly asked by Archangel Michael to incarnate in here for specific reasons. I was also directly asked by Lucifer, and I'm not going to get too involved with that. But, uh, yeah, directly asked to come here by some big names, you could say. Also, I asked her about the ET being, if you're watching my channel for the first time. Good luck trying to figure all this out. But uh, in 2014, when I tried to take my life, Archangel Michael appeared. That night I woke up to an ET being standing 13 inches away from my face. And I so I asked her, I was like, I kind of already knew the question because I asked six intuitive people already. Uh, but I was like, okay, was that a real memory? Like, did that really happen? What What's up with that? And sure enough, she's like, yep, yeah, that really happened. It was a space brother or whatever. So I thought that was kind of interesting, you know. I'm still trying to process everything. It was so much and then being able to connect certain dots, you know. Maybe I will share this. One thing that I, I uh, realized today was for a long time I've been asking and it's interesting enough, I've been asking Archangel Michael, I've been saying, I was like, you know, I was like, so Michael, after, if, again, if you're new to my channel, I stuck my sword through my highest guide's eyes one time because I seen how incompetent he was throughout my life. And one of the questions I had from that moment on to Archangel Michael was, you know, who was stupid enough to uh, give me that piece of shit guide? And sure enough, I found out today from connecting the dots that it was actually Archangel Michael. So processing all this, trying to... Uh, figure it all out but uh man akashic record readings are they're crazy it's an energetic exchange as well it's not just finding out information it's uh it's life-changing in every way that's all i got for now thanks for watching